We think of Bobby's Burger Palace as a place that people can kind of just kind of bounce into. And, you know, obviously there's lots of people shopping here and lots of big crowds. And, you know, when that happens, of course, people get hungry. They want to have lunch. They want to have some dinner. And so we want it to be really easy for people to come to Bobby's Burger Palace. So we like the idea that there's lots of people at Dan Lamb Mall. The concept, it's burgers, fries, and shakes. And it's really sort of like a trip around America on a burger. It's based on two things. One, my love for burgers. I'm a chef with high-end restaurants, but I, I'm a burger guy. When I want comfort food, it's always a burger of some sort, a cheeseburger for sure. And then I've traveled America through food. And so the idea to bring back some of those ingredients, some of those ideas and put them on a burger, I mean, I just thought it was a fun idea. This is Miami Burger, which is a direct inspiration from the classic Cuban sandwich. It's a burger that has smoked ham and Swiss cheese and then mustard and mayonnaise and pickles. So it's got all the elements of a classic Cuban sandwich, including that crispy, crusty bun, like as if you were getting a Cuban sandwich. But instead of the, uh, the roasted pork, it's a, it's a burger. This is not fast food. Every burger is cooked to order, and I teach my cooks the same techniques in this restaurant as I do in my high-end restaurants. Bobby Flake, Bobby Flake. Every restaurant opening is a tough chore, and it's our first one in the state of Florida. It's so exciting to actually open a Bobby's Burger Palace in Miami. I'm a lucky guy. My whole life revolves around food, whether it's my cookbooks, my restaurants, TV shows on the Food Network. I wake up every day thinking about what I'm going to do differently in food that day. And um, I think that, you know, Wolfgang Puck has really changed the way we looked at food in this country. I mean, you know, 20 years ago or 25 years ago when he opened his first restaurant in L.A., he, he said basically like, you know, good food can be whimsical. It doesn't have to be in a stodgy, quiet, French high-end room. It can be American, it can be fun. You can put smoked salmon on a pizza and it can be great. And I think that, you know, a restaurant like this is an expression of that, where the food is at top quality, but it's casual and it doesn't have to be crazy expensive.